Okay, I've got two minutes to summarize the artificial intelligence approach to Arabic and Islamic content on the internet. And we'll talk about AI research at Leeds University and other stuff like that. AI is all about learning patterns and rules from data, uh, for example, uh, analyzing verbal autopsies to try and work out the cause of death, or predicting prosody, when to pause when reading a piece of text, or even looking for intelligence data and finding a needle in a haystack. But um, beware that I'm not actually an Arabic linguist, so I can't say much about Arabic, although we do have a lot of tools which have been developed for analysis of Arabic. For example, um, the Quran research has developed lots of tools for Quranic analysis and tools for modern standard Arabic as well. Here's a nice picture, for example, illustrating um, the, the Quran as an image. Um, and it wasn't quite right first time and looks like it's not quite right second time either. The uh, ethos of all this is to try and make things available open source and on the web. And also um, to think of this as a, a grand challenge for AI uh, because current systems are available for searching the, the Quran but they don't actually use AI. But also AI could do with a real gold standard like the Quran for, for research purposes. There's a huge amount of research in the world for this sort of um, sorry, a huge amount of interest in the world for this sort of research. Um, and so therefore we'd like to propose a large-scale research project involving development of infrastructure and data sets and applications, as illustrated. We've even got a quite detailed set of work packages worked out in advance. We're looking for collaborators who might want to use the Quran in their research or for other applications. Conclude then AI is really useful for computational